Hello, it's me, you, you know I'd be with you if I could. I wish I knew the rest of wor the words to this song. <laughs> Just left the Dollar Tree. It is Wednesday, 7.04 p.m. It is June the 14th. Last time I said it was Tuesday, I think it was Saturday. <laughs> See, I get days off. My weekend uh, is today, today and tomorrow. That's my weekend. So, uh, I get my days mixed up. <laughs> Menopause. Ooh. I was watching Susan, Susan W.'s video. She's talking about hair loss and what she's doing about it. And I'm going to take some of her, her advice. That video really helped me. Susan W. She does um, reviews. Um, she gives you, uh, information about, sorry about the noise, put the windows up, reviews, uh, also, uh, let me see, some QVC, she gives you a heads up on the QVC, what's going on with QVC, that kind of thing, very, very nice lady, but anywho, she was talking about taking your Vita Vita Vegemins, she had a list, or she showed the vitamins that she's taking, and I told her in the comments that uh, I would start next week. I've got to do something. Getting, getting too thin. Like I told her in the comment, a combination of uh, menopause, and I would say, like she was saying, like stress. I'll, I'll leave her link below. I'll leave uh, Susan's link below. Uh, that way you can watch that video, which she just posted earlier today. Went over to the tree. Nothing really significant. I don't think it's anything exciting to show you. But here's what's kind of interesting. <clears throat> My total came to $10.10. So I had spoken to this cashier before. She was very bright, very bubbly. Hey, how are you? Hi, ever, you know, like this. She was very quiet. You know how when you buy a plate or a saucer or anything like that in, in, at the tree, they'll have some leftover circulars and they'll wrap your cups? She was just sort of, it was like she was in a daze. And she was not herself. And her name is Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray. And... She was taking some saucers and stuff and just putting them on top of each other and putting them in the bag without wrapping them. I said, this this woman is, uh, something is wrong here. And so she gave me my receipt and closed the register and she owed me 90 cents. I says, well, you owe me 90 cents. And she says, well, what does your receipt say? And I showed her, it says change 90 cents. So I had to wait, of course for the next customer for the till to open so she can give me the 90 cents. And the customer was done. I said, um, the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. He can give you joy. I, I sense that you need some joy. I've often told you that I can have conversations with strangers in the store. Some of the best conversations. And I said, is everything okay? She says, well, I've been sober for five years, something like that. She says, and I've been thinking about going back. I said, you don't want to do that. I said, I used to drink. I said, you know, being depressed, relationship not being what I thought it was, that kind of thing. You know how us females can be. I said, and uh, one day I was driving to work and I was supposed to stop before work and get some gas. I had a $10 bill. And I said, to heck with it. I think I'm going to put 3 or $4 in the tank and get a six-pack of beer and go home and just drink the six-pack and just, just lay down. Just put the cover over my head. And the, God spoke to me. 
and I told her this. He spoke to me directly in my mind and said, if you will put that entire $10 in your tank, you'll never drink another drop. So literally with shaking hands, I go up to the register, $10 on number such and so, and I pumped the gas, I went to work. This is when I was in North Carolina. I went to work and the next day, gone. I think it was March 2013, maybe 2013, something like that. And it's not that I, I don't think I was an alcoholic, but if I would have kept going, it would have been pretty bad. It would have been pretty bad. My grandchildren were not in the world yet. Isn't that something? God orchestrates each and every step of your life. Don't waste what Satan does to you. Don't waste if you're victimized. Don't waste that. The devil meant it for evil, evil, but God can make it good. Yes, he can. So we take that negative drinking experience that I put my own self through. Nobody shoved the beer down my throat. I did that by myself, right? But here I am in the Dollar Tree, 2,000 miles away from where, where, that it, where all of that had happened. And here's a young lady, normally happy, smiley, joyous to each customer, quiet. And so out of it, she's forgetting to wrap the cups and the saucers and the glassware. And God speaks to my heart and tells me the joy of the Lord. I just kept hearing joy, joy. I'm just standing there, joy. And I told her that story. I said, you don't want to go back. She's newly married. I said, does your husband respect you? She said, yes. Does he love you? Yes. And she said, my husband said, don't, don't go back to it, baby. Don't go back to the, to the alcohol. Don't go back to the weed. Please don't. And I said, what's your name? And she said, Lisa Ray. And I was about to walk out of the store. I said, did you say Lisa Ray? She said, yes. I said, Ray, Ray of sunshine. You're supposed to be a ray of sunshine. She goes, that's what it stands for, the ray portion. Isn't that something? You know, take that bad or negative experience and turn it around for good. Don't waste. Don't let Satan wasting your time, whether it's a day, a few months, years, no matter what that was that you went through. Take the scripture off the pages of the Bible, bring it out here into fruition. What he meant for evil. God can make it good. Go ahead and live that. Go ahead and live that. Yesterday I was thinking, it popped in my head. And talk about uh, suicide just for a moment if I can. That's what my mother did. That's what my grandmother did. I, the devil meant it for evil. How can you turn that good? How can you turn that good? Not letting her life be in vain. She died at 62. I want to make it at least one day past 62. I hope to make it to 102. Don't let her life be in vain. Every negative experience can be turned around for his glory and for good. Oh, yes, indeed. Ah. Uh, I, it was brought to my mind yesterday, just suicide. What do they say that, that it is a permanent solution to a temporary problem? I don't care how sad, how depressed. You were very important. Everybody has an assignment, whether it is a big one or a teeny one. 
I believe my assignment is to encourage people, whether it's when I'm out in the store. My assignment is to help my family, to help my grandchildren. I was told, Emma needs you. That's my granddaughter. Emma needs you. You, you, you can't leave. Emma needs you. And she does. And so does my uh, grandson. And so does my family. If you don't have family, someone needs to be encouraged and helped in a small or a huge way. You were meant to be on the planet. Stay here with us. Don't let the enemy step in with suggestive suggestions. Whispering in your ear that you're worthless. That is a lie from the pit. Bind it in the name of Jesus. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And then loose joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus. If you have to say it out loud when the thought comes. If you have to say it out loud when the thought comes. I also am going to link um, a video from my uh, one of my subscribers, my sister. One of her subscribers is in a hospice situation and has been told that she has two weeks to live. That she has cancer. And I'm going to link, I think it's KM. Tigger or something like this. Forgive me, sister. But I'm going to link her video uh, so that you can watch it and then you can pray for this woman. I believe, uh, according to sister, uh, this woman is married and she has teenage children and she's only in her 40s. So we want to gather around and, and pray for her. So I'll link that below as well. Stay here. Stay here. The enemy is a deceiving liar. And he's whispering in your ear. He is the king of deception. He is the father of lies. What does the scripture say? I think a murderer from the very beginning. Hasn't he stolen enough from you already? Don't give him a penny more. Don't give him one more ounce of your joy. Please. Stay here. Somebody needs you. If they don't need you right now, someone down the line is going to need you. Stay with us. We all have our appointment when we're going to drop the bodies. Don't rush your appointment. Stay with us. I love you so very much. Be encouraged. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, my friends.